So if you're wondering what it means to make your MacBook screen smaller, it's usually referring to adjusting the display resolution or scaling settings on your computer. By doing this, you can make the content on your screen appear smaller, which can actually be really handy if you want to fit more stuff on your screen at once. Who doesn't, right? However, just to be clear, physically reducing the size of your MacBook screen is not something you can do without tinkering with the hardware, which is not recommended at all. In fact, it can actually cause damage to your beloved device, so don't try that at home, folks. Anyways, in order to scale down the view of your MacBook, you'll need to do a couple of different things. So at first, go to the system preferences, and in the lower left corner, there's a display section, and you need to click on it to go inside. Uh, scaled will naturally enlarge the view of everything you do, so turning it off or switching to the default view is a pretty good idea. But of course, this is not the only setting or only thing you can change. Besides that, if you feel like everything on your computer is too large, you can, for example, start with the dock. You can make it much smaller. In the system preferences, just go to the dock and menu bar section. There, you can adjust the size of the dock. That's what the first slider is for. Or you can also change the magnification, which can also give off the effect that everything is too large when not set correctly. One more thing in here. I'd advise to keep this option checked. It's this one right here called Minimize Windows into Application Icon. For me, this is a deal breaker because when this isn't enabled, every time you minimize some window, there will be a new icon in the dock, which takes a lot of space. And a lot of icons make everything look cluttered and big. So just my tip for you right there. Another huge thing is changing the size of the icons on your home screen. When everything is smaller, it also ties down to the way everything looks. So the entire UI appears to be smaller. Anyways, when you're on the desktop view, you need to make sure Finder is open. You know this is the case because next to the Apple logo in the corner, you can read Finder there. So right next to it, still in the top menu bar, click on the view button. This shows you a menu and a few clickable options. One of them, nearly at the bottom of the list, is the one called show view options. So naturally, click on it. And then just play around with the sliders. One slider changes the side of the individual icons. This, of course, applies to all icons, but it basically makes everything look smaller or even larger if you want. And the next slider under it takes care of the grid side. Usually with smaller icons, it makes sense to use smaller grid, which makes everything look nice and tidy. Like I said, it depends on your personal preference and also the size of the screen. On a 13-inch MacBook, you may want to apply different settings than on something like the latest 16-inch. Uh, the next option is the text size. You may want to decrease it as well. This text size change only applies to the icon names, so it won't affect some other areas where you can see text. Anyways, in the same section, you can click on the text size button. It only lets you pick from like seven options, but still, it's pretty good. And chances are that you wouldn't even need more options than that. And what could have happened to you is the zoom feature. You may not even realize it, but it's possible that you're constantly in a zoomed in state. There is a built in system wide feature called zoom, which can be enabled in the system preferences. And this allows you to zoom anytime and anywhere. When you open up system preferences, go to the accessibility section and inside the left panel, you'll be able to see the zoom. Click on it and it'll show you multiple options, but just see if it's actually enabled for you and use the gestures you can see there to play around with it. Try to use the zoom out gesture to see if anything happens. You can also modify the style of zoom or gesture control, which display it applies to. Uh, so yeah, there are some nice settings to play with. So this would about it. I really do hope that you found this video helpful. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the Foxtech YouTube channel. That's full of videos like these. Check out the next video you can see on the screen right now, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.